Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. It is really cold outside and it's nice and warm in here so that's where I intended to stay but we have got some news on the drawing board so I'm going to teleport over to Mr Bob's and hopefully he can explain what's been drawn up for the new high speed pulley. Right here we are I'm with Mr Bob this is the brand new pulley gosh you're right it is heavy isn't it? Ste it's steel. steel you see that's yeah, right. so on the weighty side yeah and that, that's it installed in, in situ, right, I've go on then. In situ, you see, revise it, you'll see that uh, with a, a little modification at the back here, we can in install the the uh, dyno, the dyno start uh, chain pulley, and then of course the, the main pulley. Yeah, so, so we, belt, we, we just take a bit of the, yeah, of the boss. Just, is this well, the boss? That's is right, it? that is the boss, yeah, which you'll see on the side. That's got a bit Whoa, of that, off, that yeah. is a heavy thing, so, it, yeah, that, yeah. That boss will be. Yeah. Re and that goes in into right, into the centre. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that goes on there cool. like that. How much does that weigh? You got any idea? It's <laughs> really <laughs> heavy. I have to get it on the scales. Well, I don't know whether you can get it in alloy and that'd be an help, wouldn't it? Really? Yeah. It, it is a quite a weighty thing. I'm surprised, really. Yeah. Well, it's almost as though it's made in lead, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Depleted uranium or something, tungsten, uh, but it gives a bit more flywheel effect, won't it? Well, well, it will, yeah. <laughs> um, what, 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 well, what, what, what's now, this? this right, this is the setup that you've got out there. We're looking from the uh, timing side, yeah, uh, where the the diner start is mounted up here between yeah. these two bosses, right? There, yeah, yeah, uh, at that distance with 10, ten inch centers. And yeah. it's got a fourteen tooth sprocket here, the small one that you made. Yes. And of course the big the big chain uh, wheel. The big one which would be down. Which is this sort of that, yeah. that size Four, chain 48. wheel. Forty eight teeth at the uh, at here. Sorry. Yes. And then that big heavy thing you've just picked ah. up is the forty four teeth thing here. And that about twelve uh, inches out is the clutch. Right, got which you. Which is at the clutch drum at seventy teeth, you see. But I was interested in, in I've done this for is uh, what was uh, concerning me is the closeness of the of the belt there ah, against yes, the chain, against... which is coming off the sprocket, you see. Yeah, edge of the how, belt and edge of the chain. At that point X there, where the top run of of the belt drive shows X, shows X again. crosses the other the other drive there. Yeah. Um, at that point there, uh, there's enough clearance really to do the job because the, the belt, the furthest the belt can come sideways is up against that flange. Yeah. Right, and, and the chain uh, uh, sprocket uh, here, which I've got here, I just, is, just is only about thick three eighths of an inch wide. Yeah. So they shouldn't clash at all. Yeah, I, I don't think so. And I was concerned that if you know, there was any lateral movement between the, the, the two, they might just touch. And yeah. th in that case, we would just have to put a small shim in there in, in and push this. this thing a bit further out. Yeah. That would stay where it is, that, and this would just move out. But, but it isn't going to be necessary. That, that's the point of intersection where the two two might might have touched, but they won't. Yeah. They won't touch because they're they're sufficiently far apart to Got do you. the job when you measure it up. Yeah. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Really. And it's, it's all worked out. And it's, all, it's all done from, out quite well, really. Yeah. From the yeah. comfort of the warmth without going in that cold shed. Oh well, I was in the garage this afternoon when you you know this morning when your wife appeared. You know, and said how yeah. awful it was. Yes, and uh, but I managed to get the take. I took the dimensions out and on this on this sketch here. You see, that, ah, that's, the rough that's cuts, when yeah. I rushed round your guys and drew that quick sketch and before and, and, before uh, we froze today, uh, measured yeah. the, the different bits and pieces where, where they were, and then I laid it out on here yeah. so I can actually see it full size. You see, so um, and won't won't uh, presumably this is just just how strong that this would be. It more ah no, no it won't. The whole yeah because the whole engine is tilted forward that's of course right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah if you're looking at that's the horizontal yeah so, so datum that, as it says on here and yes. the engine actually tips forward twenty five degrees and and so it will yeah, actually so look it's more more like that as that I've is got, it, got it yeah. on the screen now that, if yeah, you lay yeah. if you put the gearbox uh, clutch uh, on the horizontal that's where that's it will come it will that will be the clash point yeah if there was going to be a clash point that's why I wanted to lay it all out so yeah. I could see clearly how it how it all went together. And uh, this, of course, is the Dynastart yeah. thing itself. Yeah. yeah. So I'm quite Very happy good. with it. It's looking quite good. Yeah. All we've got to do is go the weather cracks a bit so we can get up and machine this <laughs> so that we can fit yes. it together and then uh, wrap the chain and the belt on and see how it all goes. Maybe it's the cold that's making it so dense. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit of a buddy. Yeah, well, the other bits have come, the, the Goodrich hose, so I can make the, the female bits to go into the oil tank and get that yeah, welded up, yeah. and hopefully we'll get that done this I'll weekend. tell you another thing, too. Okay. It, it doesn't stand out any further than it did before with the other sprocket, because the, I've recessed these ah, in here. Okay. They're yeah, still yeah. in the same place, so it hasn't come out any further at all. Yeah, that, that line because before they stood out on top. Then didn't they, they did because they got. A... Now they're recessed in there. They look neater. So yeah. you'll just have four recesses yeah. and, and and the central hole, which is already there here. Yeah. So, so the extra ten millimeters of belt thing. It, it's is, been absorbed it, in the head it, of the yeah. bolt. Yeah. And oh. here's a sample of the, of the sort of bolt you you'll be being. You see, there are the bolts yeah. in situ. You see. Yeah, there should be so, plenty uh, of strength it, it, there. So that's encouraging. It doesn't doesn't really doesn't stand out Pretty anymore good. at all. So it's it all gone in quite well, really. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks thanks for showing us that, and uh, thanks yeah. for watching. More updates, perhaps over the weekend.